President Trump firing back at Texas Democrat Joaquin Castro for outing some of his major campaign donors. As we track this story, good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. I'm Bill Hemmer. Welcome at home, at work, on your mobile device. Here we go. Three We've made hours. it this far. Good morning to you, Sandra. Bill. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sandra Smith. A big question this morning. Is there a double standard when it comes to social media bias? Congressman Castro's attempt to shame Trump donors in that controversial tweet coming at Senator Mitch McConnell's campaign gets locked out of Twitter over a video. McConnell's team responding in a statement to Politico, quote, Twitter will allow the words massacre Mitch to trend nationally, but locks our account for posting actual threats against us. So here is one of those outed donors from Texas a bit earlier today and how he framed it a moment ago. I mean, being outed as a, as a, as a contributor wasn't the problem, but tying me to that Horrific tragedy in uh, uh, El Paso was uh, galling, and I just think we all have a right. We have in America right to free speech, and I'm, and I, and a lot of people that support the President Trump aren't going to be called. We're not going to be, we're not going to be, we're not going to be called racist and the other slurs uh, without uh, fighting back. Fresh reaction there. Leland Vitter is live in Washington with more on all this this morning. Leland, good morning. Well, Sandra, good morning to you. Nothing elevates a politician in the national conversation like a tweet from the president. And this might be the most focus on Julian Castro since his announcement for president, certainly one of the largest platforms his brother has ever had. And here is what the president wrote on Twitter. I don't know who Joaquin Castro is other than the lesser brother of a failed presidential candidate, 1%, who makes a fool of himself every time he opens his mouth. Joaquin is not the man that his brother is, but his brother, according to most, is not much. Keep fighting, Joaquin. That 1% refers to Julian Castro's standing in the latest polls for the Democratic nomination. Castro wrote this, Joaquin and I will keep fighting. The American people will fight every day for our nation against your hate, your corruption, and your ego, and we will win. Hashtag adios Trump. Now, this all began with a tweet by Joaquin Castro listing 44 donors to President Trump's campaign that are in San Antonio. That's where Congressman Castro represents. And that tweet immediately opened him up to charges that he was essentially outing these people and then opening the donors up to possible protests, like the protests at Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's house that took an interesting turn when Twitter locked McConnell's campaign Twitter account for posting a video of the protest because that video of the protest contained foul language from the protesters. Your account has been locked. There is the screenshot from Twitter. But Castro denies that he's trying to inspire a similar protest against those Trump donors. I don't want anybody harassed or targeted. But they will be because or, you put their names on, in public. Look, that, that was not my intention. But that's these what things are These things are public. No, what I would like for them to do is think twice about supporting a guy who is fueling hate in this country. All right, so whatever Castro's motivations were, you can decide that at home. It has now invoked the law of unintended consequences here in Washington, which is very much alive. Turns out six of the donors on that list of 44 had also given money at one time or another to the Castro brothers, Sandra. And not surprisingly, a couple of them are none too happy and say they are simply done not with the president, but with the Castro brothers. Hey, Leland Vitter at the White House this morning.